is a picture of the porch side of my 1998 salt shaker. As you can see, it's in great shape. No problems whatsoever. Uh, paint looks good. Bottom looks good. Uh, boat overall, great, great condition. I'm going to try to get over here and get you a picture on the starboard side as well. Uh, as I do that, I'm going to take some pictures underneath here. So you can look at the actual bow. Um, the windless anchor is right there. Try to get out of here without falling in the water. This is the port side. Again, good picture of the front there. As you can see, boat's in fine shape. Paint looks good. No issues really. A little bit of the clear coat coming off in a couple sections. Nothing real severe, but nevertheless, want to be straight up and point out any and all things I know about the boat. Uh, Yamaha HPDI 250 twins um, running great. One has like 500 and some hours, the other one has 600 and some hours. Mercury props, everything works great on them, no issues. Uh, we have trim tabs on both sides, it worked no problem with those. A little more detail on the engines. I do have pictures of the engines and I'll be happy to take a video uh, of the engines if somebody wants to have a little more detail. Uh, you can see that the, the ropes actually go in and lock in. Getting back in, this right here is a built-in tackle box. It has three drawers. I'll show that to you. Basically, they slide out. You can store your tackle in there. Uh, over here, it's a built-in tackle box. You can put more tackle. On the star starboard side of the boat there's another built-in tackle box built into the console on the starboard side as well as a tackle box over here built in on the port side in the stern of the boat batteries are located here in here, then we've got freshwater and salt water wash down pumps are here. Over here, we have the fuel filters and fuel shutoffs. Uh, in this part of the boat, right here, we have fuel belch pumps, one low and one high. Right behind that, we have a live well, which is very big. Big, big size live well. Uh, to the left of that live well, we have fish boxes. And as you can see, very large. Same size fish box on this side. Underneath, we have rod holders. Uh, we also have a shore connection for charging the batteries. Here's another angle on the motors themselves and how they look from the other side. The built-in swim ladder. The, uh, these hatches open up. There's actually cutting boards on both sides. You can actually take care of your bait. Uh, these also would make really good live wells. So I wanted to put some pumps on them. The uh, captain's chairs 
Here's a picture of the console itself. We have two 12 inch monitors, uh, North Star, uh, GPS, fish finder, miles per hour. We have a Simrad brand new autopilot. Here's the windlass. We have an Infinity stereo system, with Yamaha controls. Uh, here is all the things the boat is equipped with. Give you like a big view of the console here. Going up top, we have lighting on the bridge. Uh, the whole tower is powder coated paint. Rod holders up here. See everything's powder coated. Storage up there. As we move through, we have fresh water over on this side. The fuel is over on that side. I think it's about 60 gallons, but I don't know for sure. We have a storage locker here. There's also seating. You can set three people here easily, as well as three more people on this side. And there's storage underneath, both here and here. Uh, there's another fish box down here. Another storage on the starboard side. Uh, there's a hatch underneath the console. Give you a peek inside that. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. The light is equipped with blue lights, so at night when you're traveling, lots of places to hang on to, as you can see. Uh, these rails. In the con in the cabin very large as well um, large enough to at least sleep two if not three people pretty comfortably I do have a cushion that fills into this I do not have the starboard the starboard that would go there you'd have to have one made but with the cushion and a piece of starboard this whole thing could be just bed um, you can see there's a uh, built-in head and it's got a mensurator holding tank underneath here, underneath this floor right here. Um, the cabin has built-in rod holders, so you can basically put six rod holders in here. Um, there's lighting on both sides. Let's see if I can get you a picture. Here's underneath. I was talking about the holding tank. You also have up here and again there's the lights and the lights and this is your picture basically from the cabin got the cabin go up top here's the uh, windlass the anchor, the platform. Here's a picture basically of looking down on the boat from the bow. On top you have AM FM antennas, VHF antenna, radar. You have an automatic light that's controlled by the console. So basically you don't have to hold a light or do anything like that. Canvas is in great shape. We just had that clear windshield made, as well as two roll down plastic zip ends that snap in both sides of the radar arch. So basically it's really nice if you're in foul weather, run into foul weather. Um, I think that's it. It's a great boat, very, very roomy. Put 10 people on this boat easily and be comfortable. Um, these things were made in Port Charlotte. They were copied from the black fin mold. Um, as you know, the 29 black fin is one of the best 
fishing boats I believe ever made. Uh, this gentleman worked for Black Bend for years, came to Port Charlotte, realized that nobody really made a 30 foot and a 10 foot beam, so he created the brand Salt Shaker. Um, all custom hand laid fiberglass. This is definitely not a production boat. This is a boat that is made for executives. It's a custom made boat. They didn't make that many. Um, and I think new they sold in the 160s. So anyway, uh, maybe 200s, I'm not sure. But they're not made any longer. Uh, 2008, they basically had to shut down the company for whatever their reasons were. But uh, if you want a nice boat, solid boat, uh, really with no issues other than the three things I suggested. Uh, give me a call if you want more videos. I'd be happy to do that. Thank you.